welcome to the Squirrel Tale. Today I'm going to do a video on polishing the brass hardware for a long rifle. Now the first thing you need to do is get whatever you're going to polish secured in some manner. For a butt plate I put in a wood clamp like this. And then just put in a vise. A trigger guard I recommend a little simple jig like this or fixture I should say. All it is is two boards cut out in this shape with a nut with Y nuts. Take it out. And put in the vise. For the side plate, super glue it to a board. Only use a couple drops here and there. You want it so it'll stand up to the sanding and buffing. But you want it so you can also pry it off. Now, well, it's pretty obvious. The reason why you want to polish everything is because it looks nice. No one wants to look at an ugly gun. So now the first thing you want to do is remove any um, sprue marks or any um, big things like this that is left with casting. To do that I will use a pexel. I'm gonna, on this particular one, obviously somewhere will be easier and harder. I'm gonna make a series of straight down cuts. Gotta get my blade a little more tension. And then after I make all those series of cuts, I'm going to take the saw, I'm going to cut along it diagonally, being careful not to dig into the plate. I still want a good bit of the sprue to be left there, maybe an eighth inch or so. I mean, the more you get it down, the better off you are, but you don't want to cut into the butt plate. <laughs> cut it off like that. As you can see, it's a lot shorter. And that will be a lot easier than take off. Now there's two ways you can approach this. One is with a good standard bastard file. The other is with a belt sander. I'm probably going to do a little bit of both. Now a bad habit I got into is falling both ways. I've been working to stop doing that. You always want to make one stroke to lift.
Okay, my arms are starting to get tired, so I'm going to start switching over to a belt sander to finish it off. That's a, this is a little Harbor Freight 1x30 belt sander. I think they're like 40 bucks, something like that. Now I took some of the guards off, which I know you're not supposed to do. And I am not liable if you take the guards off and get injured. But that gives me a nice area to remove the rest of that sprue. Now as you can see I have the sprue is gone and I blended in that area with the rest of the butt plate. So then I'll put it back in the vise. I'm now going to draw file it a little bit. That makes a nice, well blended surface. Now, where you start in regards to cleaning up the butt plate will vary depending on the casting. Sometimes when you buy a casting they are really rough. These are some I found at a local junk store for like six bucks a piece. Um, but they need more cleaning up. If you buy some like from Dave Keck they are you might be able to start sand right away with sandpaper on them so it does vary the quality of the casting you know if better casting you're going to have less polish work so now once i get this draw foam i'll look for any other marks and looks like i still have one i have to get out That's the thing when you're doing this, you might be working on it, look at it, be like, oh, there's something that needs to come out. Before you move to sandpaper, any pits, you want to make sure they're filed out. You can see, I don't know how well it's showing on the camera, there's a little bit of a pit right there from the castings. Now sometimes... They're so deep where you either have to pick between living with them or getting a new casting. So this is pretty thick so I think I can definitely get it out. But you know if they're very small it might not be worth actually trying to get them out. You know, especially if it's just like your personal hunting gun. Now one thing when 
you're trying to get out pits is to make sure you're still working it evenly. You don't want to make just file this out and then have a notch there. It's not quite tight enough. Okay, it looks like I got it pretty good. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more great content, and check out our Instagram page at, at Squirrel Tail Show.